Part of the reason why we're willing to pay out the freaking nose for movie tickets is that primo sound you get at the theater. And indeed, a huge part of marketing these days for cinema chains is pushing their audio technology that promises some sort of transcendental experience for your ears. But years ago, Dolby Laboratories, you may recognize some little indication on games, movies, or even someone's receiver under their TV, started trying to bring a theater-like experience to the home. They, like other competing companies such as DTS, provide compression technologies for audio streams so that they'll fit onto a disc, much like how one might compress a video file to make it suitable for the net. I'm looking at you, H.264. Dolby's technology was born many years back with Dolby Stereo. If you're a budding audio enthusiast in 1975, you might remember seeing Dolby Stereo being tossed around. What was special about it was that it took your conventional stereo sound and created a four-channel surround experience in the theater through some mathematical trickery with the sound encoding. But it wasn't until 1982 that the home was first introduced to Dolby technology with Dolby Surround, another analog technology that added a mono surround channel to the usual front, left, and right. This was improved with Dolby Pro Logic, which added a center channel and used a more advanced algorithm to not only extract the extra channels, but to also improve the movement and discreteness between them. Pro Logic still exists today in a new and improved form with the ability to mix stereo or surround to 9.1 channels. As technology progressed, it became easier to record multi-channel sound natively. And so Dolby Digital debuted in 1992, featuring six discrete channels of audio in the ubiquitous 5.1 setup. Five speakers, one subwoofer. Since then, we've seen incremental updates to the technologies with improvements to the number of channels as well as maximum bitrate and sample rate. In the case of Dolby True HD, a lossless audio codec. So what does the future look like? Well, in order to blow your mind, the new Dolby Atmos now supports up to 128 audio objects that are independent of a channel assignment. Why is this better? Well, imagine a helicopter flying over you. Instead of a conventional system vaguely telling your ears where the chopper is flying, with Dolby Atmos, sounds can be created independently and mapped to a specific location. So you'll be able to pick out exactly where it is. Atmos also scales the specific speaker structure of the theater and does this in real time. So in theory, you should hear a spatially accurate effect no matter where you sit. Put this all together and voila, you can almost feel like you're there. And if you don't want to pay nine freaking dollars for a bucket of popcorn, Dolby has now expanded this technology into the home. It does require a compatible AV receiver, which supports the extra channels needed to make this possible. The more speakers you have, by the way, the better, but Atmos will work with at least six, so you won't necessarily need to sell an entire kidney to make it happen. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. Audiobooks are a great way to listen to books when you're stuck in traffic, driving on the subway, on the bus, doing chores, in the gym, doing errands, shopping, playing video games, whatever. For our audience members, Audible is offering a free audiobook to give you a chance to try out their service. One that I'd recommend is Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. It's a whole series. They're awesome. I read them all when I was a kid. They're great if you like fantasy books. To download this audiobook for free or another one of your choice, head over to audible.com slash techquickie. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Leave a comment down below if you want us to check out something that you're interested in but don't quite know enough about or something that you wish you could help other people understand more easily. Uh, check out Channel Super Fun. I don't know, I always tell you guys to do this, but like seriously, it's cool. Go over there. If you want to see one of my really old videos on there that for some reason has way too many views, check out our screen melting video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.